What's up, everybody? It's me, Charlie B. Um, just want to say thank you for everybody who stopped by to check out my videos. Thank you to those of you who subscribed. And if you haven't subscribed, just go ahead and think about doing that. Uh, you might like what you see. You might see a bunch of Funko Pops because I'm a big Funko Pop collector. And as some of you might already know, I've done some tests with a couple Funko Pop protectors. And the two tests I've done, which is a strain test and a drop test. With the strain test, I stack weights on top of each protector to see how much weight they could hold up. And then with the drop test, I dropped them from three different heights. Dropped from a tabletop, bookshelf, and then the second floor at my job, which is about a 13 foot drop. The six different protectors that I've gotten so far though, is a Funko one, two different Ecotech ones, Malco, Titan Shield, and Vaulted Vinyl. And in this video, I was gonna do a general review of each one, talk about similarities with all the cases, differences, prices, shipping, all that good stuff. And then I'm gonna rate each one from a scale of one to 10. So yeah, let's go ahead and go jump right into it. All right, starting off with the similarities with all six uh, Funko Pop protectors is that they all have auto locking bottoms. So when you put them together, the bottom automatically locks into place. Other than that, they are all made out of PET plastic. So they're 100% recyclable. And that's about it for uh, similarities between all six of them. And then five out of the six have a locking tab at the top. The only one that doesn't is Vaulted Vinyl. The Funko Ecotech 0.5mm one and Vaulted Vinyl are all ultraviolet resistant. And then only the Vaulted Vinyl and Ecotech 0.5mm ones are scratch resistant. All the other ones are not. Alright, the Funko brand one is probably the only one I did not do any tests on, strength tests or drop tests because they felt frail and flimsy and I honestly don't think it would have done very well in any of the tests. The only good thing about these is that they are ultraviolet resistant and you could go ahead and buy them right at the store when you buy your Funko Pop at the same time. Uh, so overall I'm going to give them a 3.5 out of 10 because they're just not the best. Moving on to the first Ecotech protectors, the 0.36 midwear ones. These are pretty decent uh, protectors. Uh, they're not the best compared to the other ones, but they are probably the cheapest protector out of all. Um, they do offer free shipping, and actually they offer free same day shipping as well. Uh, they did pretty decent on the strength test, so overall I'm gonna give them a five out of 10. Uh, but compared to the other ones, then it just doesn't compete. So that's why I gave it a five. Up next, we have Titan Shield. Titan Shield is a 0.5 millimeter protector. They did very well with the strength test, but other than that, uh, they did, they're not ultraviolet resistant, they're not scratch resistant, and with the pack that I received, I feel like some of them were put well together, and one of them actually, the lip at the top actually broke off when I was trying to put it together. So overall, I'm gonna give them a six and a half out of 10. Here we have Malco. Malco is a 0.5 millimeter protector, and honestly, these are fantastic protectors. These are one of my favorite protectors I've gotten so far. They did the best with the strain test, and they did very, very well with the drop test. But without the uh, ultraviolet resistance or the scratch resistant, overall I gave these uh, 8 out of 10. But if they would have had those two, I probably would have given these protectors a 10 out of 10. Alright, here we have Vaulted Vino. It's another 0.5mm protector and one of the two that has scratch resistance and also ultraviolet resistance. It did pretty decent with the strain test. I thought it was going to do a lot better with the reinforced edges, but it just did decent. With the drop test though, it did a very good job protecting the pop. And that's what matters with these protectors, it's about protecting the pops. So overall, I gave it an 8.5 out of 10 because, like I said, it did a very good job at protecting the pop, and that's what matters. And lastly, we have the second Ecotech protector. It's uh, another 0.5mm protector. It is the second protector that has both ultraviolet resistance and also scratch resistance that I've gotten so far. It did a great job with the strain test, and it also did a great job with the drop test. So overall, I gave it a 9 out of 10, and that's because how well it did with the strain test, the drop test, and because of the price of these. These are one of the cheapest protectors out there. So in the end, I would definitely say these are the top three best protectors out there, at least from the ones I've gotten so far. And eventually I'll probably get other ones and may update this uh, with those. Uh, but Ecotech is probably my number one pick because of how well it did and because of their prices. And so I definitely recommend Ecotech 0.5 millimeter ones. Alright, so that's going to do it for this video. I want to say thank you again to everybody who stopped by and watched my videos. I appreciate it. And if you haven't yet, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, drop a like, hit that bell to get notified anytime I upload a new video. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, you could drop it in the comment section below. And also, if you have any recommendations for different Funko Pop protectors, you could drop it in the comments below. Thanks again, and until next time.